let's review the mission details. As you know, a terrorist group called Red Falcon has been carrying out limited strikes around the globe. We've confirmed reports they've set up shop on the main island of Galuga, following the meteor event earlier this year. The Federation immediately dispatched the GX Army, as they were in the vicinity for military exercise. They seemed to be making headway until three days ago, when we lost contact. You're kidding. Gen 10 is the strongest unit in the Federation Army. No way some fringe upstarts took him out. While it's still unconfirmed, we should assume the worst. Apparently, the Red Falcon are more powerful than we realized. Speaking of which, our science division has some troubling intel of their own. Dr. Drake. The Federation's interstellar satellite network detected a gravity anomaly. Something on Earth emitting gravity waves strong enough to circle the planet. Their source coordinates align squarely on the Galuga Archipelago. This gives us reason to suspect the Red Falcon are developing gravity weapons. Gravity weapons. The Federation banned them decades ago. That's right, Lance. We can't risk destructive power of that magnitude falling into the wrong hands. My weapons division at Henriksen Industries confirms those readings are consistent with the components of a gravity bomb. Even just storing that thing improperly could cause tectonic shifts, climate disturbances, or worst case, potential black hole. Bill, Lance, given the situation, I think it's clear why the Federation enlisted our EMC Contra unit. Your primary objective is to engage Red Falcon ground forces, confirm the source of those gravity waves, and disarm it. If at all possible, locate the GX army and report back with their current status. There's a Red Falcon stronghold not far from your drop. Infiltrate the base and apprehend their lieutenant. His field intel will help determine our next move. A remote hideout, missing super soldiers, and a doomsday weapon. Hell of a Friday. moment to practice movement, jumping, and shooting. Doyle tells me all Contras can jump a second time in mid-air or dash horizontally. <laughs> Simply incredible. You can aim with more precision by holding down aim lock. One moment. sending frequent supply drops to the weapon pod to release its cargo experiment with a variety of weapon types
secret overload function. You can sacrifice your active weapon for a powerful attack and strategic effect. Overload function now. I'll send a replacement weapon immediately. See that? Don't forget. operation, they could have at least have sent a small arm. Looks like the small army couldn't handle it. So here we are. <laughs> I suppose so. At any rate, stay alert. These guys aren't messing around. What's the sit rep Ironside? Where are your guys? I lost contact with running advanced recon. Probably signal jammers or something. I'm not worried. Put that in your I'll keep in touch. Just in case things get too hot for you comics. I heard Stanley's update. Let him worry about the GX army. You two focus on finding the enemy base. Roger that.
entry point, uh, <clears throat> located. We clear to proceed, Commander? Copy that. Falcon is obviously on alert, but we haven't seen anything unexpected. Apologies, Commander. We should discuss the chopper attack. Yeah, we should. How'd they get a missile past our sensors? That's it exactly. It wasn't a missile. What? Whatever it was, our scans indicate organic matter. Organic? What exactly does this mean, then? It means we have a good opener when we find the guy in charge. I'm Rick. Resume the mission. Locate Red Falcon's lieutenant for questioning. We'll update when we know more. Over and out.
much information out of him now. Not bad, eh? Lock and load. Give me a call, and I'll send it right away. Oh, 